Hi guys, welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry, and today we're having a look at the Survivor, uh, the Griffin Survivor, should I say. Uh, it's, the style is the all-terrain. It is for an iPad 10.2 inches. Uh, it's this iPad here, which I brought recently. Uh, it's for the kids. I have got two of these. I've already installed one, so I've got an idea on how it goes. But for you guys, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and installation so you can see how it all works. Now, just flipping it over here so you can see, um, I'll run through really quickly. It's got impact absorbing silicon on the outer shell, detachable hands-free view stand, which we'll have a look at, sealed ports to block out rain and dust, and built-in holder for the Apple Pencil. Uh, an Apple, an anti-scratch shield or screen shield and transparent back so that you can see the type of iPad you've got, depending on what it is. Now, I reckon it has been drop tested on concrete. <laughs> it's got a one year warranty and apparently has a military standard of 810 G. Well, basically it's designed to meet or exceed military standards. I don't think my little ones will be doing anything that that full on but hey you never know <laughs> all right so let's get to unboxing this and not make the video any longer than it needs to be i haven't opened this one it's a brand new one out of the case we'll just slide it open here pretty simple there's not really a whole lot to it at case so yeah, not much in it. all right so if that comes out there as you can see nothing else in here we'll pop that all down to the side and basically when you get it it's in a plastic shell cover it's got this clip side here which does detach so if we grab it from here and pull it out, you'll, you'll see what I mean. There we go, and there's nothing else in there. We can pop that to the side as well. And when we flip it around, the right way, it has instructions in here on what to do. A lot more sleek and thin, and feels pretty good. Like, I mean, the rubber itself feels great, but it's not, not far off. I mean, they have a, a similar feel like they always have, even the other survivor i used on my old old ipad which believe it or not we still have and still going so as you just saw that just sort of clips off it's pretty easy it just sort of pops off it, it, it's nothing to it so the idea is you pop that to the side okay and then basically just these if anything i've noticed that the side clips on these they they seem to pop out a lot easier so it's just a matter of as you can see here just popping them up like that popping them up from the top here as well and then You've just got the bottom end and it all just comes off pretty easily. I'm quite impressed. All right, so as you can see here, it gives you some instructions. We'll pop them out. There we go. Um, yeah, basically, I thought maybe I can leave the actual silicon layer on and somehow get the iPad in there. So, you know what? We'll give it a try and see what happens, right? So, I've got an iPad here, iPad 7, and I'm just going to... Um, I don't think so. Well, maybe. Hey, look at that. So you didn't need to even take off the actual gel, I think. You just sort of push it in. And it sort of all clips in. Though, personally, I probably would. I just, I feel like if I, if you do it, you're, you're probably better off um, taking off the rubber seal just to sort of see that it sits nice. But then again, it's a uh, personal preference. I've done it two ways now. This is one way. And the other way was where I removed these rubber seals. And they, they, they went on pretty easy, okay? And, uh, came off and went on pretty easy, so it didn't give any trouble. Look at that. It seems like it's just sat in. I'll give it a little bit of a wipe, but I've got some finger smudging and, and not let it sit too long. And the idea is, and I'll run it over the top of the iPad and have a look. And as you can see there, there's pretty much nothing there's no particles on there or anything and it does say to clip from the bottom and just sort of push from the bottom and work your way up by the sides so just press here it goes on quite easily to be honest and then just sort of work your way up and then press here and then here on the other side so both sides here work your way all the way up to the top and just pretty much just press up here gently and you'll hear a click so that's it and that's that's all there is to it and now it is all secure. So a good thing is to just give it a little test by trying to lift each of the sides. So I'm trying to lift the sides here, lift here. Nothing's coming up. It seems to have all clicked into place wonderfully. And look at that, pretty good. There you go. Kids iPads running good. And this, it's actually quite responsive and it feels quite good to be honest. I mean, it's never gonna feel as good as the original screen underneath it and the iPad, but it is pretty good. 
I mean, it's it's quite nice, right? It's got a engraving here saying Survivor and beautiful texture. It is. It feels quite soft and grippy, but soft. It doesn't feel yucky in your hands and uncomfortable. Let me just bring that down, open in here for the camera. And as you can see, pressing through the buttons, they feel really good and responsive. It doesn't feel like it's actually inhibiting in any way. Uh, opening it up here, just so that you can see, access to your 3.5 mil jack wonderful uh, for headphones or whatnot in terms of on and off button or wake and sleep it, it's you know responsive and really good it does have the opening at the back here or at the bottom should i say for the stereo speakers and i think it's this way it used to be the other way but it's actually this way to get access to your charging port it's got a cutout as well for your camera okay and as you can see there there we are. This this wonderful thing's got to go on somehow. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing you could probably choose which side you want to put it on because it doesn't seem to be any different from one into the other. So my best bet is that you can put it on whichever side you want. So this little lip here sits over that edge. Okay, the clear plastic. And it has got like a rubber bit here as well, which is interesting. I'm guessing that's for better grip of some sort when it's, when it's sitting. You see that there? Okay, and then if you just push it down, you'll hear a click, and it's that simple, and it's on, and it's secure, and it's pretty good. Okay, now, with this bit, uh, it's sitting low, and all you have to do is just pretty much slide it right up. Okay, and once you've pushed that right up, this thing, you it feels pretty flimsy, honestly, for something that's meant to be so rugged and can take it. It feels like this could snap. But it's not. This actually bends. It's it's actually meant to be that way. That's why it feels like that. But I'd grab it from the hinges up here. And as you push it out, you hear that? I thought, oh, no, I broke it. Oh, my goodness. But it doesn't. It actually does that. Okay. <laughs> That's what it, it does that, right? So it does that. <laughs> and then, as you can see, uh, it allows you to sit it free, standing. And it, still, nonetheless, pretty good. And this is the one part that's pretty cool as well. If you bend that up and just sort of sit that there like that it, it doesn't really clip in but it just sort of goes up and sits if that makes sense <laughs> right and that allows you for a different viewing angle where you can sort of pop it down like that or turn it to its side so you get an idea see what i mean um and look it, it's pretty cool uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the kids do <laughs> and uh how it all turns out, whether it lasts and they break it or, or not. But either way, um, I didn't buy it for the stand. I bought it more for the protection of the actual iPad. So, all right. And then it just clicks back into place and then you slide that down, which secures it and stops it from coming in and out and moving. And it stays nice and snug and fit in there. Hi guys, sorry about this. A quick little edit. I can't believe I forgot to mention it. This awesome little notch here on both of them is so that it can hold your Apple Pen. I don't have an Apple Pen, and I'm not gonna push this in here. But the one thing I have noticed is that there isn't any soft bits in there. It's actually all hard plastic. So if you're gonna buy this, just be cautious before just jamming the Apple Pen in there in case you scratch or damage it in any way. I think it'll be all right. Like I said, I don't have one yet. It's something I'm gonna buy my daughter next, um, but something to note as well. All right, guys, that's about it. If you have any other questions about this, uh, please post it in the comment section and I'll get back to you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, sorry, guys, I did my best. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll be throwing up some more cool videos uh, as we go on. By the way, if you want to be updated on any other cool videos that I'm throwing up, which, like I said, I have got a backlog, and I will keep saying that with every video I upload because I've just got so many stuff I've reviewed that I haven't had a chance to throw up. Just hit that uh, bell button and you'll be notified whenever I uh, release a new video. Thanks for watching and listening to me, guys. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.